What's up guys, it's Optic Tubar with another tutorial, and uh, this one is a pretty advanced one. And this one has actually been requested quite a few times, it is part of the introduction triage I'm going to show you right here. It is coming, this part right here, this is what we're going to be doing. So you can see you've got some nice titles, you've got some... Uh, depth of field, you've got a bunch of different elements and you've got obviously the character itself. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, you can download the files that I'm working with in the description, so keep that in mind. So I'm going to go ahead and file imports multiple files here. And I'm going to go to my desktop and grab the, uh, grab the files that I have provided. Okay, so now we have all of our footage here. I'm going to start by making our comp here. So this comp is going to be our title sequence main. That's fine. I'm going to make it 29.97 frames per second, and I'm going to make it 5 seconds long. Okay. So then we're going to grab our background, drag it in. And what we want to do is freeze it, even though it's pretty much frozen, we just want to make sure it's frozen, so we're going to right click, time, freeze frame, and then drag it out so that it fits the entire comp. I'm going to select it, press return, and rename it to background. Now I'm going to drag out our character, and this we're going to go ahead and freeze frame it as well. Stretch it out. And we're going to start by masking out this guy because we've got all this other crap that we don't want in the background. So I'm going to go ahead and solo the layer. I'm going to zoom in here. I'm going to grab my pen tool, make sure that I select my layer, grab my pen tool, and then I'm just going to start drawing the mask. And I'm going to fast forward this part here. Alright, so when you're done, make sure that you close the mask. And obviously, the more detail that you get, the better the mask is going to be. Now that we've got that over with, we are ready to get into the fun stuff. So if I turn, if I unsolo that layer... Alright, so now we're going to set up the, the fact that it's 3D, because if you look at it, you've got some 3D motion. You've got the background moving a lot slow. Whoops. You can see you've got background moving slower than the guy, so it looks like it's far away. Because it is far away. So to create that, we're going to, first of all, make these objects 3D layers. And if you don't see that, you can press this button down here. Then come up to Layer, New, Camera. And we can make a 50, 50 millimeter camera. And press OK. And now what we want to do is we can actually if we bring up the two view horizontal view, you can see that these are our two layers from the top. So we're looking on them from the top, and since they're flat layers, they look really flat. They're just, they're just a line. So if I select my background, I'm going to actually push my background way off into the distance. Because that's what the background is, it's off in the distance. So I'm going to move it way back here, make sure you're pushing it on the Z axis. And then I'm going to select it and then scale it back up so that it fits. So now if I took my camera and orbited it around, you can see, obviously, you can't orbit too much, but you can see kind of what we have going on, that the background is farther than the person, which is what we want. All right, so now we can start adding some cool stuff that will really make it look cool. So that is what this VFX elements that I've provided are for. So let me drag out this atmosphere here. And if I scrub through, make sure it's on top. You can see that it's just kind of nice, a nice smoke. And I'm going to add this in front. I'm going to make this a 3D layer, and then I'm going to push it 
forward towards the camera. So it's going to be like a nice little blur fog here and I may even I may bring this up a little bit. So you can see now we've got a nice blur fog type thing. So let me drag in this charge here. Make this a 3D layer as well. If I scrub through. Oh, I forgot to mention, make sure that you also freeze frame the atmosphere. So come to time, freeze frame. Before you freeze frame the charge though, make sure that you pick the frame that you want. So I want the frame that has a lot of, of debris coming at the camera. So maybe one of these ones, maybe this one looks good. You can see all these little pieces going everywhere. So now once I have this frame, I'm going to go time, freeze frame. I'm going to drag it out so it fits. Okay. So I'm going to make sure I'm going to push this forward as well. Maybe, maybe not that far forward. Maybe somewhere around here. Push it up. And I may lower the opacity on this to like 50%. All right. Let's keep adding some more stuff. Let's go ahead and grab this dust wave. Make sure it is a 3D layer as well. And for this one, I may push it in the background a little bit. Because we want to vary it. We don't want everything to be on the same field. So you can see our background's way back here. And our two elements are in front. And we have this in the middle. So I'm going to push it back. Maybe around here. I'm going to scrub through it. Pick a frame that I like. This one's pretty cool, I guess. Then I'm going to go time, freeze frame. And then I'm also going to have to scale it up because I pushed it back a little bit. So there you are. That's what it looks like. So you could also choose to put it in front of the character, which is, I think, what I did in the... Actually, I think that looks cooler. I'm going to push it in front here. So you can see we've got some cool dust and dirt flying everywhere. Let's grab some other things here. What's this puffy smoke? Let's see what this is. So this is just a nice smoke layer. And uh, what I did is I actually pushed this way into the background. So I made this a 3D layer. I'm going to push it way off into the background. Maybe move it over. And I put it like just about here or, or somewhere where it where it can be seen. And what you want to do is if you actually double click the puffy smoke, you want to mask out the bottom of it and set the mask to subtract and then press F and then feather out the mask. So it doesn't have a sharp edge at the bottom here. And go back to our composition. So we can have that smoke. We actually may want to keep this moving so that at least there's some moving things. It's really up to you. So I'm going to go back into the layer panel and I'm actually going to mask out the top as well so it fades off nicely. Set it to subtract and then feather that out. Something like that. So you can see it has kind of fades out at the top and bottom. One last thing I did is I added some smoke to the barrel. It's right about here. So again, open it up in the composition by double clicking it, the layer. And we want to mask out the bottom of it. I'm going to use a circle this time so it's not as easy to tell where the line ends. And then set it to subtract press F and feather it like 30 pixels or so. Go back to the composition and you can see we've got a smoking barrel here which is pretty cool. I'm gonna not freeze frame that so it's moving because I think it looks cooler that way and you can actually notice it. Maybe move it over a little bit more. Make sure you make it as a 3D layer though as well. Alright so now so I made the text in another composition. So control N to make a new composition. Call this text. Make sure it's five seconds, 29.97, just like our other comp. 
And I'm going to go back to one view here so we can see what we're doing.